Comic Addicts. It's Joe with Black Box Silver and Bronze. I just got home, and this was waiting for me. Let's see what's in here. Hey, Comic Addicts. I got some great stuff in this comic hole. The first thing I got was Mr. Magoo's Christmas special. This is signed by the cover artist, Roberto Conte. And this was, uh, this is a variant cover. There was a, this is the B cover. But this comic book um, told the Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, which was a cartoon TV show uh, in comic form. And in addition, it's got some cool things in it. It reprints some of the original Mr. Magoo stories um, on the back cover and inside. It gives you the, um, recipe for razzleberry dressing on the inside front cover and uh, there's a section uh, narrative section that tells you the uh, history of Mr. McGill. So that was the first thing that was in those packages. The second thing was this 1959 promo comic on uh, Schwinn bicycles. Really cool. Um, it shows you the first bicycle and if you page through here it shows you uh, some of the different models that uh, Schwinn was making for boys and girls. There's a section in here that shows you the um, Schwinn's assembly line. And then one of the coolest uh, pages was about this uh, guy named Charles Mile a Minute Murphy, who was the first person to ride a bicycle 60 miles an hour. And what they did were they, they laid down some wood on the train track in the middle, and then they put this covering over the rear of the train to uh, get the air resistance out of the way. And then he rode his bicycle down the railroad track. I never heard of that. So that was really cool. And the back cover has another advertisement. Very cool promo comic. Uh, this comic is from 1954. This is Dick Cole. And this is an accepted reprint. Um, and it reprints uh, some of the Dick Cole stories from the earlier, I think it was, I think it was called Star Publications. But what's cool about this is uh, that is an L.B. Cole cover. And so a lot of the L.B. Cole covers in the Golden Age, you want to have them in your collection. They're very pricey. This one is not. So I've got a little bit of L.B. Cole in my collection. This next one uh, was a great deal, thanks to Night Tiger, who um, we were talking, and I'm like, I got to go. Uh, we had talked for a while, about an hour, said, I got to go. I got some things to do. And then he calls me back, like, within five minutes and um, tells me, Joe, this comic is for sale for 10 bucks on eBay. So I picked it up. It's Looney Tunes uh, number 45 from... July of 1945, and it's one of the uh, war bond, war letter covers. And uh, I have been wanting to get this one, uh, but it's always pricey. It's always like 80 to over $100. There's another copy on eBay right now. It's listed as fair. It's $56. It's in worse condition than this one. Um, this one was listed as fair good for $10. But there was no picture. It was a stock picture. So I figured I'll take a gamble. Hopefully it's not destroyed. And it's not. The only issue is that little piece that's missing right there. But it presents beautifully. So uh, big thanks to Night Tiger for um, pointing that out to me. Uh, another comic I got was Wiz Comics number 86. And uh, it's got this great uh, Captain Marvel battling this robot cover and uh, the sinister savannas are in the background there and uh, i snagged this one because it was really cheap i think it was like 20 dollars or 26 dollars. it's really in bad shape so the cover is detached it's split and a couple of these pieces here i have they fell off um and this belonged at one time to mike jones and he wanted to make sure that you did not take his comic because he put his name there, there, right here on Captain Marvel's leg, and one more time under the robot's feet. So, Mike Jones, I've got your comic. 
And lastly, this is something that's really cool. It's not a comic book, but it's comic related, Popeye which is Popeye. And this is the Popeye, Popeye song man. folio. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this this is uh, music, song sheets. There's um, 24 complete and original songs, uh, Popeye songs in here. And this is from 1936. And it's got it down there in Roman numerals. And each one of the songs uh, has a cartoon at the top of the page. So something that's really cool, I've got to get like a treasury edition or a Life magazine sleeve for this. It's really big. But let me show that one more time. I like Popeye, and uh, I actually like the... the these other like non-comic Popeye things um, a lot. I recently got a big Popeye book. I got this. I got the Popeye tin can. So uh, some really cool Popeye things. So that's it. Just another short uh, comic book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, comic addicts. <laughs>